Well, I tried to Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 98. I actually produced session 98 last week, except we had a sound issue. So I had to delete it from YouTube. And here's a second run where we will have the soundtrack on it. So uh, in this video, I'll be discussing a number of trades taken. In today's session, I'm going to be trading the NQ8 tick a much higher time frame than I'd normally trade this was suitable and I was actually trading the New York afternoon session because I'm down under in Australia at the moment the New York morning doesn't really suit me and I've, I'm not really a fan of the New York morning session because it moves that quickly I like to sort of have a market that moves a wee bit slower just gives me more thinking time now what I cover in these sessions you can apply to futures Forex or stocks and of course if $1,000 a day is not enough for you you simply increase your position size you trade more contracts but at the same time we never ever forget our money management rules now as always I do need to pull up the disclaimer please feel free to pause the recording if you wish to read the disclaimer the bottom line is traders don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and and a great benefit of virtually every trading platform today is that you can trade in simulation mode until you're actually ready to go live now in the, these sessions I'll usually discuss and show you how I trade a number of different setups that is both uh, trend following uh, counter trend reversal range uh, techniques uh, now for a new trader that might be a little overwhelming initially so I want you to remember the Goldilocks rule when it comes to mastering art of day trading this is how you really get wealthy you want to start off with something that's just right not too hard not too easy just right meaning I want you to focus on the trend trades in fact what we're going to do is look at the five or six trades I actually took them and I'll explain those setups then we'll go across to a chart and I'm going to go from the right hand side and explain exactly what I'm looking for but we'll I'll attempt to stay focused on the trend trades because that's absolutely essential for a new trader now very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook please click on the description uh, link below as well as that um, uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest videos and better still become a member doesn't matter whether you're an experienced trader or a brand new trader just starting out uh, you get the works that I show you here today for $197 in other words there's um, uh, over 35 PowerPoints I provide all of my indicators for free if you've got a trading platform where I don't have the indicators coded for I give you all of the settings anyway so you can basically set up almost any uh, uh, an indicator almost any platform to replicate how I trade as well as that there's over 200 hours of online videos plus I've got a special going at the moment where within the 197 you can attend one month of my live coaching sessions that is each month I run eight live two-hour sessions for every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where you get to watch and listen as I explain the trades the setups the psychology of trading money management and a whole lot more if you're unable to attend those sessions they are recorded and you can watch the recordings make no, no mistake traders this is a ten thousand dollar plus program all for 197 now after the first month should you decide to continue you can just drop me an email and say look I'd love to continue with um, uh, these monthly coaching sessions $97 a month that's all it is so let's have a look at these setups now if we go over here traders um, just up here I have what we call a 3b and most of these and I'll have to get to the next page I can't remember uh, traders when you're an active day trader um, you forget what happened two days ago <laughs> okay so uh, time really flies but uh, first of all I am trading an eight tick chart so let's talk about this for a moment most of you know I usually trade the Globex session that is the uh, once the market closes at 5 p.m. central it reopens at 6 p.m. Uh, sorry sorry it closes at um, 
uh, 4 p.m. Central my apologies opens at 5 p.m. Central and I'll trade generally a four tick Renko okay it just plods along nicely it's a great market to trade uh, the NQ is a great market mind you so is RTY the Russell uh, uh, oil is great that time of day but if you're after your you know real bang for your buck as far as price movement uh, the NQ is it for an example if I just move this down now and just show you so this is Monday the 6th of May here and this is the four tick Renko on the NQ now what we're after and I should show this is actually a really good lead into this so just say if you wish to uh, net say around $200 a day now $200 a day you need a $4,000 account let me perhaps just um, quickly discuss this this is important by the way this is all about getting clarity around your trading this is the stuff though unfortunately most traders don't want to know about and they wonder why they keep losing their money this is a business therefore you've got to understand your strategies naturally the market you're trading but also understand money management and that is we never want to risk any more than two percent now on trading a four thousand dollar account and of course you can trade with a micro so I'll show you in a moment how you do that and how you build your account very quickly starting off with only four or five hundred dollars depending on the market you're trading but here we're after 200 a day which is five percent how do we do that we're after ideally what I call six step moves which I'll show you in a moment now the six tick is fantastic during the New York uh, sorry during the London session okay so before the New York session opens you'll get away with usually trading a six tick as you get closer you might have to jump up to an eight tick and it also does slightly depend on any red flag news we've got coming out but today we're going to be mainly focused on the eight tick and here we're after 350 360 which once again is your 5% and to get there we want to really execute only three or four great trades now I'm talking about net trades after any losses here but you'll see in a moment how we identify high probability trades so what we've also got depending on the time frame that we're trading um, uh, well actually the, the setups or the different types of entries that I'm going to use okay well that will then dictate to us the size of the account that we need reason being if we're trading like an eight tick and if I put my stop loss two ticks under a swing or above a swing high or under a swing low uh, it means then we're probably going to have a risk there of $130 now if we're trading the micro to begin with it's only going to be $13 okay so you can build your account and I'll show you how to do that in a moment but these are the critical factors that we need to clearly understand when it comes to day trading now what I wanted to point out here was that $200 a day on this particular market that's four six step trades a day now what exactly on earth is a six step move irrespective of the time frame that I trade uh, see how these these look like steps so I just call these steps and depending on the time frame they will um, uh, each step will be a different dollar amount so on a four tick it's offset by two each step is worth ten dollars okay so what you're after ideally is four net six step trades a day and after commissions that's two hundred dollars a day now by having a target or a goal it gives you clarity in so many areas and you've got to have what we call lofty goals goals that drive you but what I wanted to show you here was and so this is um if we look at this here this is live okay but I want you to notice my white paint bar the super scalper in the direction of the trend now when you've got an, an easy way of identifying the trend sorry is the blue cloud basically means that I'm looking for 
long trades here we're in a sideways market and I'll show you how we handle that in a moment if we're in a downtrend ideally we want to see the orange cloud these are what we call two and three B's in other words I've got bounces on multiple markets so super scalper super scalper winner all of these are basically uh, that one there down here traders would have been a loss okay that would have been uh, a beautiful winner so here fantastic divergence trade and we're bouncing off the pivots more on that very soon because I'm going to be sharing with you look can I call them secrets but they're not really secrets all professional traders know about these and we trade into these and use them so I'm going to be showing you and I want to try to keep this video till about to about 30 minutes or so but I really want to share with you some incredible information that will make a massive difference so up here this is what I call a 3b now a couple of rules on on this first of all during the New York afternoon leading into the close the market can be quite fast I prefer to be uh, using buy stops and sell stop orders on this particular day the market was moving that quickly I'm using market orders and I'm getting some slippage on my entries okay so I've got a target here of 350 per car or per contract and I'm trading five lots here so up here plain vanilla 3b so for members watching 3b 3b okay um, now you may notice here I was out of that trade there and I was out of this one exactly break even and here is why I'm a scalper meaning I'll usually work with a fixed target so get in get out get paid now it's it's yes it's a lovely dream that to, to trail and pick up some of the really big uh, moves however that doesn't suit everyone I prefer to get in get out get paid look for the next trade so once I hit a certain amount of steps I'll then go to break even plus three ticks just to cover my commissions why three will quite often get on the NQ one or two ticks of slippage so here uh, I come down I hit my five steps went to break even and it stopped me out unfortunately up here I picked up my full seven steps thank you here I picked up so I'm, oh, I don't think I mentioned it I'm after seven steps that's 140 per car just here okay so here trend trade trend trade here you can see we're in a beautiful downtrend 28 tick stop 28 tick target now down here this was actually a bit of an error and uh, for members watching it was only a t19 now it worked out mighty fine and the reason I took it but later on I sort of it, I broke one of my rules but the reason I jumped in on this trade this is called angulation can you see how price ang action is angling very strongly away from the 200 EMA up here angulation now this nearly always leads to a retracement very very high probability trade and for members it wasn't quite a t3 but very close to so traders we've got a setup called a t3 very very high probability reversal and you don't even have to have uh, divergence now a t19 to us as you're about to see too I use what we call an anchor chart one and two higher time frames I look at this way that the, the this entry chart here is a wave we want to ride the waves in the direction of the tide which is the higher time frames on my anchor chart so that's very very important you be following the higher time frames when you have double divergence or divergence on two or three time frames it just dramatically improves the probability of your trade now up here so here it worked out to be a nice trade then I jumped in on this 3b and it was immediately I was stopped out no great surprise and the reason being when you have a trade after a lot of angulation okay your first setups much more likely to fail so what you want to look for is when you have a very deep pullback do you have any divergence so I was stopped out immediately on that trade I then had uh, what we call a t12 up here and this was very close to stopping me out as well now when I trade the uh, 
the eight tick on the NQ or higher I like to have my stop loss two ticks above the swing and here this come up and tested my high by one tick so I was one tick saved by one tick so the two tick above or below my swings uh, saved me on this particular trade now this turned out to be so for members watching this this actually turned into a bet the farm however it was such a deep pullback I decided not to take the bet the farm but to jump in right here a trend continuation trade called a t20-1 and thank you very much oh and here we've got a t3 right here so I was out here I actually went for a larger target in this particular case uh, and the reason being was the swing low which I'll talk about more in a moment for you I then had a t3 I executed a market order and actually started to reverse got a better fill and I was out with my seven steps up here thank you very much and for members watching you can see there that actually turned into a t10 two candles later as well so that was five wins one break even one loss okay so that was all over so target there at 350 482 in 10 minutes so this is really moving quite quickly and that's why I use market orders now we can see here yes we could have trailed and perhaps rather than gone for seven steps quite often we could have gone for ten that will suit some traders it's it's just not my cup of tea I prefer to get in get out that suits me better now I teach traders how to do both both styles by the way so when it comes to obtaining clarity one of the things here is is to have a lofty goal that is to set goals that are a reach that is yeah, really exciting goals but are somewhat realistic as well now let's just start with this first of all now what if you don't have seven thousand dollars because to trade this market correctly okay uh, you're going to need that is to uh, using what I call the anchor chart one candle close which is just a if I've got a very deep pullback we'll see if we get any in a moment and I'll show you what I mean you need seven thousand dollars now I know your broker you can say to me that look my brokers tell me I only need five hundred to a thousand dollars for a day trading margin that is true but you're not going to stay in business this is a business you've got to remember we never risk more than two percent of our account now here if you don't have seven you start here with 700 remember on the micro a micro contract is 10% of the value of the big contract and here instead of going for $350 a day we're going for $35 a day we're trading on the micro the exact same setups now with the micro contracts on the uh, NQ the MNQ you've got massive daily volume there are thousands of traders that are trading the micro NQ contract but the bottom line is here you start off with $700 you have the potential within 12 weeks to now have $8,000 in your account now you can start using the markets money and we'll see what happens in a moment you can go over and start trading the big contract now just so you know here if you're new to my channel or my videos you start off by trading one contract and you only start trading two when you've got 1400 in your account you start trading three when you've got $2,100 in your account remember we're treating this as a business you'll hear me say time and time again get rich slowly now once we move over to our seven thousand dollar account we're going for 360 today and I'll a day let me get that out right and I'll show you how to do that within 10 weeks there we've got the potential of our 10,000 a week income whatever you wish to be earning uh, and your capitals now 52,000 now what about this over here 100 contracts here weekly income 180,000 a week well you'd have to be trading during the New York hours flat out for that okay to go and execute 100 contracts after hours a globe accession is it possible oh yeah absolutely but you'll get a lot of slippage 
trading 10 no problems 10 lots at all but getting up to this sort of volume you're going to be looking at trading during the New York hours anyway so you can see just there where we are realistically in 10 weeks now total time taken we started off with 700 we went initially for 36 a day okay within 12 weeks we now roll over and start trading the big contract that's taken us only 22 weeks to have a full-time trading career I do have to say though we need to allow a couple of months on the simulator before you even go to trading the live account even the micro there's only one way to master the out of day trading and it's the right way the first time now we're going to have a look um, at the charts themselves and I want to walk you through from the right hand side exactly what I'm looking for you see it's easy to go back and for me now to show you oh look I had one here here where well, you can see here for like the executed trades anyway but I want to show you exactly what you need to be learning to do now the bottom line is we're really ideally here after this okay I'm really after three seven step trades a day ideally or four five step trades a day now remember our target is 350 a day so you'll see what they know I'll explain those in a moment that's net after any losses now of course you can go for larger targets <laughs> it's just what I recommend as a scalper now as we're about to go to the charts here's also a couple of critical factors that we need to take in account we need to know and you may not this may be a foreign language to you right now this is not rocket science it's just a matter of learning the lingo and exactly what each tool which is what they are how they work um, and and the really what's behind it that is what's the philosophy how do we use them so pivot levels the current days pivot levels the prior days open high low and closed levels the 89 and 200 EMAs especially your intraday swing highs and lows and your current days particularly high and low all of these become price magnets but also major support resistance levels so let's go and have a look at this traders so we're going to start from the right hand side so what I've got here is an eight tick Renko now you can trade these strategies on tick charts on time based charts on volume it doesn't matter uh, I have found I've been now trading 28 years and I've now found that Renko is probably the easiest and smoothest chart to trade it just makes life so much easier with that being said if you've been trading with tick charts for years and years of course you're going to say no I prefer tick charts because you are correct tick charts will give you more information however uh, you'll find that Renko can really smooth things out and for newer traders especially much it's really just ideal for them the other thing here is with the NQ you'll see my white paper that's my super scalper okay I um, uh, prefer that to always plot or nearly probably 95% of my trades on the NQ I want to see the super scalper uh, and the reason being the NQ it you know I used to call it the nasty NAS because it can be very choppy I've reframed that to the nifty NAS nifty NASDAQ however it can still be a bit of a devil at times so here we go starting here so we're breaking out of consolidation now how do I identify consolidation when I've got a flat 89 and 200 EMA so up we go okay now up here by the way see that there we've got a little bit of uh, it's that's called angulation if ever you're going to consider a reversal trade or a divergence trade that's what you want to see you want to see some angulation I've got a little bit of divergence nothing to really write home about so I'm not really look just here this is what we call I call a uh, 21b uh, look if I was to take that uh, look I'm just going to sit this out for a minute uh, okay now just here now if I had have taken that trade that was only good for three steps and it looks like I've got a little reversal just here now for the experienced traders 
that are here remember I said to wait for the super scalper this is what I call a rule of one entry I had a rule of one entry there if you've got a fantastic entry off a trending EMA yes you can get in and scalp the crap out of it okay um, so uh, there are times when I prefer to be using the super scalper uh, particularly for all new traders but experienced traders yes you could enter here and the advantage of that uh, is this may as well bring this up and show you if you use what I call the rule of one entry you've got a much smaller stop loss then you can either go hit your target quicker or go for a larger target now of course if you're trading the micro you've only got nine dollars risk okay so you can start off I know new traders what I'm risking ninety dollars hundred and forty initially no you start on the micro and it builds both your confidence and your competence now what we've got and there's a whole range of different time frames for different markets that we trade for an example we never trade the 2-1 on the NQ it's far too fast the 2-1 is fantastic for the Russell for gold for, for oil uh, for the Dow so there's different time frames and which time frame in the end also do you choose whichever is tradable if the market's a lot faster or very fast I should say like the morning session we can't even trade usually the 8-4 you've got to jump up to an even higher time frame again so just here let's just see by the way here whether I've got some divergence and this is where uh, uh, trade so I'm just trying to read what I've got here over here on the anchor chart yes we do so this is where learning how to trade in the direction of a higher time frame works because what I've got just here is a really nice little it's a little double top I know it's out by a couple of ticks looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck look over on my anchor chart on the right here see my this is called a, a zero lag or a platinum MACD see that little kink there and see that here this is called a 2d when I got a 2d I trade it down to the 89 EMA okay nearly always you're going to come and I won't go into why but you'll nearly always come down uh, to the 89 now this is where let's see whether this sets up but this is where I want to show you why an anchor chart is so important see on the entry chart here on the left we had all of these red candles see over here on the anchor chart one we've got all of these red candles see over here you had all these green candles see you have these little pullbacks you've got some trade entries here all in the direction of the existing trend so over here with my super scalper this is telling me right here I've got a potential long I'm only going to go long if I have the anchor chart one on the right there gives me a red candle and guess what I don't get a red candle and you can see the little giveaway just there the Renko tail so if we'd have taken that trade we just would have been stopped on that trade now I can see on the right there I do have an entry with the anchor chart one candle closing and for tra traders I call this a 3b members you can see this is a 3b now when we take a trade remember on that document I said we want to know where our pivots are we've got two types of pivots just here I've got my also a 200 EMA I've got a cam pivot and I've got my traditional pivots this is a confluence of support so I've got a, a lot of support just here now what we want to do then is say okay we're going to get a bounce here possibly and we look at where's our last prior swing high see over here see those black dots on my anchor chart one that's sort of telling me that hey this is a prior swing maybe that's a good target now what I'm after traders as a scalper I'm after seven steps okay my stop here is two ticks below just there so typically you've got a 28 tick stop if you're waiting for your anchor chart one so let's see how we go here one two whoops that's not good it's one two three four five now I'm now at break even six seven 
there we didn't quite touch eight but we hit well and truly our seven steps so I would be out of that anyway so I found that the really the optimum is five to seven steps if you're a scalper okay five to seven five to seven you know you I've just found that works really well very high probability now what have I got just here from now I'm not going to I'm only going to mention this to members here okay that are watching this you've got a t10 right there on your anchor chart one you've got a t10 for for the new traders or the members that are people looking at becoming members here are watching my video this is a very high probability setup okay and it's I call this a t10 also known as a kaching trade okay so here we have an entry now with this one this was trend following uh, that one there by the way was not okay so that's a CT trade uh, counter trend um, this is a, a change in trend and that was a with trend so let me try to focus on for with trends um, and there's another seven steps now what's happened just here now I've got a new lower low in price guess what I'm going to look for let's see if we get a new lower high now just here I actually do have a lower high but I don't have my white paint bar for a technical reason just here but I am going to take this on the close of the third candle at the latest so we would be in now we've um, so anyway look I'll keep it simple here so on the close of a third candle where's my stop go two ticks above the high what are we after seven steps one two three four whoops not even four that was three four five whoops not even five now we've got um you can see what's happening there maybe have was that five six seven there we go so we got out one two three four five six no we've only hit um, uh, plus six however look over here traders what is that just there we've got what we call a t12 a bounce on the 200 we would be out of that anyway uh, let me just quickly I'm going to show you another screenshot of something I'm just going to pause this I need to show you this so you understand this so this was from a trading session the very next day actually um, where I was trading the RTY 10 lots here in the morning session uh, globex session see that black line that is an EMA that represents my higher time frame EMA and see how I'm bouncing right off there where's my stop go one tick below remember this is a lower time frame this is only a two tick so I've got a bounce right there I now go over to this one just on the next page here five trades four wins and what have I got down here again another bounce and the reason I want to show you that is that when we sell into a major EMA let's close all of these when we're selling into a major EMA remember on that PowerPoint I showed you and let's just pull that up again where are your 89 and 200 EMAs why because of this very reason we want to cover our trade or take profits okay so we may have actually only picked up uh, five steps at that stage now five steps by the way is $100 remember your target 350 after commissions now what have you now got right here now see how you had a green candle we want to wait for a red candle to confirm the move and we're after our seven steps so we would not be in there till down here so one two three four four five. there we go so now we've got our seven steps if we had have taken five which is 100 okay you've got now another five or another seven step move now as we pull back we're expecting a bounce where this is called a fanning of the EMAs when we've got a downtrend like this we're expecting a bounce so this is where you've got to be on the alert as we pull back here is another one now what you'd actually see initially is only a red candle like there 
okay and these are the ones we call the rule of one so if you've got a great trend you can jump in if you're a new trader you're going to probably wait for your super scalper so you're not going to be in until the third candle and how far does that go one two three four five six another seven step move after waiting for the super scalper now this is where we're getting very suspicious on this okay why look over on the right here can you see that just there now we're gaining a lot of divergence okay so I've pointed out the with trend trades okay and now there's the reversal okay so we came down a little further so what I should have said here with all that divergence here Oh, I think it was up there wasn't it we had all of that divergence there now's the time for me to say okay look I'm probably not going to take this trade here even though uh, one two three even though it would have been a seven step move this is a good one to perhaps sit out uh, I'd rather miss out on a winning trade than take a losing trade when you're starting to get divergence particularly on your higher time frames now's the time to be very wary and just in closing here just here for members watching this this is your classic t10 just there again so you've got a classic t10 look over at my hull over here so if ever I'm unsure about a move okay I look at what's my hull moving average telling me and that's saying take these longs but I've got to say here that we need to also consider though let's let me drag this down I'm digressing a little bit now but what's in front of us with any trade we want to know what's in front of us what we've got just here traders is what we've got a down trending 200 EMA which usually means we'll get some sort of bounce just there so we want to really cover our trades so traders for a new trader if you're a new trader this is what you want to be trading once we start to get these deeper pullbacks higher highs and higher lows okay now's the time perhaps just to sit on your hands initially you see as I showed you just um, over here you only need four five step trades a day and you've hit your target five percent return or three seven step trades a day so what are the best of the best setups okay we're looking for what we call our 34s our 2Bs etc are we trading in the direction of the trend does the anchor chart confirm the trend these are all really simple straightforward rules they're easy but some traders will say well look if it's that easy why doesn't everyone make, make money from trading well sometimes also the easy things are easy not to do as well so for newer traders you want to be trading with the trend initially so look I've gone well over time here traders come and join me as a member I have the links below $197 uh, and by the way the spreadsheets that um, I showed you up here you can actually download those as well and I've got a little video showing you how to actually uh, uh, fill these out that is there's some rules you've got to follow um, to do it correctly it's no good putting ridiculous figures in here yes it'll give you these huge returns but it's just not realistic okay and remember too that I do have the bonus where you can come along and join me for eight live or recorded sessions thank you traders see you in the next video